Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Got a Tech Tuesday video for you guys, something maybe you haven't seen before. I have in my hand a life vest out of one of our airplanes. This one's expired, so they had to take it off the airplane, but it should still work. So Adam gave me this to have a little bit of fun with and show you guys what it looks like. We are gonna inflate this thing here in a few minutes, but before we get to that, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. I discovered Skillshare about three years ago before I started making these videos because I had no idea anything about photography, videography, video editing. I was completely green. So I went online looking for a good platform for me to learn the basics of this stuff and the even more advanced part of this stuff. So I found Skillshare and fell in love with it. Uh, I started out with uh, Jeff Bridges courses on the fundamentals of DSLR photography, worked through his content, it was really great stuff. Then I moved up into the cinematography basics uh, and then and, and I just kept going from there. Learned so much about video editing. There's over 30,000 lessons for you guys to take away uh, and all you gotta do is sign up. They are offering a two month free trial membership to the Corporate Pilot Life subscribers. All you gotta do is click on the link to, in the description below. It'll take you over there, sign up, give it a go. Then after that, it's only about $10 per month. They've got over 7 million people using it right now, learning everything from business, uh, uh, creative arts, photography, like I said. Uh, if you wanna just fill your curiosity, if you wanna you know, help your career like myself, it's really great content. So check it out, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys love it as much as I do. But in the meantime, back to this guy. We're gonna open this thing up and I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. So if you guys notice, there's a big tear tab right here and all you gotta do is just rip it off just like that and out it comes. Now, in the heat of the moment in the airplane, don't forget to grab this. If you find yourself floating on the Hudson, you know, something like that, if you've watched those videos, you've probably seen people standing on the wing of that airplane and they don't have a life vest on because they forgot to grab it under their seat. Don't forget, if you guys have to ditch somewhere on an airline or not an airline, take this with you. I highly recommend grabbing this thing. If you pop it out, just go ahead and slip it on and then you're done. Put it on while you're in your seat and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Once this thing is on, it, it's really, it's not gonna fall off of you. The big key from this though is do not inflate it until you leave the airplane. They always mention that, you know, uh, the, the flight attendants on the briefing, but it's so fast, it doesn't in enter our brains. It's critical, do not inflate these until you're outside the airplane. If you inflate it, you'll see it here in a minute, it gets really big and if you rip it on one of the, uh, one of the exit doors or something like that, all of a sudden you're wearing just a piece of plastic. So definitely hold off till you get outside the airplane. Once you slip this thing on, you're gonna notice that it does have the strap. It's got a rubber band around it. So you would think, you know, oh, well, that's kind of a pain to have to get that out, but it's not. All you gotta do is grab the buckle and rip it. It comes right out, pass it around, buckle yourself in, and then give it a quick cinch. It does not have to be super tight. It just needs to be around you to hold it in place. So that's it. Um, if you notice in the back back here, for those of you with BB guns, you've probably seen these before. These are just little CO2 cartridges that screw on there, and that's how they inflate. There's one over on this side, and have another one over on this side. So that's how these guys inflate. And of course, uh, the, the, the tubes that you can manually inflate, you can blow into it on either side. It has two of them because they are two separate chambers, okay? I'm gonna show you those here in just a second as well. And as they always mention on the, uh, um, on the briefing, there is a light up here that's water activated, but it's only salt water activated. So if you find yourself in a fresh water position, it probably isn't gonna illuminate. Um, this little battery pack right here, this has got the sensor in it and this is what's actually gonna cause it to illuminate. This is where the, the power is coming, on for, coming from that battery or, or for the light. So that's where it's coming from there. Once it's on here, all you gotta do is jump out into the water. Once you're into the water, you just gotta pull on these tabs right here. Now this is the fun part. So everybody wants to see this happen. So here we go. I'm gonna just inflate one for right now. There we go. If you notice, I just inflated one. The next thing you'll notice when once you do that, it's very cold. The air, the uh, compressed air coming out of there is very cold. So you're gonna feel it, but it will inflate. One thing also is one chamber should keep you afloat. So I highly recommend just inflate one. You don't really need to. If you inflate the second one, you're gonna see here in a second when I do it, it's gonna get really bulbous up here around my neck and it's gonna almost choke me out. So I would just do one. That's enough to keep almost everyone out there afloat. If you're wearing you know, concrete boots or something like that, swimming with the fishes, then you may need both. But I would just do one and then if it doesn't work enough, then you can inflate the other one. So to do that, all you gotta do is reach over here and grab the other one. And there it is. Notice, I get really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> this thing is up around my ears and it's just no fun. So uh, yeah, this is what it's gonna look like if you do both. So I would definitely just stick with one. 
Um, now, one thing also, if, if you notice, that this strap is getting really tight around me right here because it's trying to pull it up. The idea here is when you're floating on the water, you're going to be looking straight up at the sky. You know, this thing is just going to keep you afloat. And you can float there for hours. Um, I've actually had to do this in the pool several times, and I'm actually going to do it in the pool for you guys on a, a future video. Uh, that one will be coming out here real soon. But that's it. That's what it looks like. Um, if you uh, find yourself where one of them starts to lose a little bit of air, you can always blow into these tubes, but if you notice, I can't even reach it right now. So hopefully that doesn't happen with this, you know, with both of them inflated like this, you're not going to need it. But, uh, but yeah, if you lose the inflation in one, you can always blow into the tubes. So that's it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you learned a little something new. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next Tuesday video. See ya. Keep living the corporate pilot life.